How do you get your own zombie army in Deadcraft? My name's Jade, I'm going to show you how. So you've got to keep following tutorials from Gramps, the NPC character, until eventually you come across this cutscene with Brandon. Once it's finished, you'll chat to Vernon and he'll direct you to Gramps for the silent but not deadly quest. Gramps will actually temporarily move back to your base and that's where you need to head next. Once there, he'll guide you through the steps of growing your own zombie, but you do need to provide some supplies. Hopefully by now you've accumulated some Zed hearts and maybe some Zed blood as you've been going through collecting it through the wasteland. Once you return back to him, he'll then tell you to pick up the corpse that has freshly appeared at your camp. Then just simply follow the tutorial, grow an undead friend, and you should be able to get one pretty quickly. Now to find more of the dead bodies or corpses, you have to go and kill some of the bandits or maybe NPCs that you find in the world. You can't make zombies out of zombies. Now you don't have to create another farm, but I just went around and moved some stuff and put another plot down, but you can go ahead and grow them next to your normal veg or other zombie fruit and veg that you're growing. What you do have to do is equip the zombie inside the one slot that you have instead of seeds like this. Remember, press R1 in your inventory and then you'll be able to plant the Frankie Sprout. Once that's done, we'll go ahead and sprinkle some Zed blood on top of it and keep doing that for a couple of days and eventually it will pop up. Once you've harvested them, you can then go ahead and equip them and then place them out in the world. Now, different zombies will give you different types back. They'll basically have increased HP and some of them will have weapons like Molotov cocktails or some of them might have other things like blades or guns or just plain ones like this guy. So equip it like I said and then you can just simply go ahead and place it. You see the numbers 25 out of 100 basically your 100 is your limit. Each one of these zombies is worth 25 so that means you can only have four of these zombies out at any one time. They're not the best things to do so far in the early game in terms of taking out other enemies, but they can offer a bit of distraction and get a few more hit points against maybe a big wave of them. They'll follow you around everywhere you go until they actually get killed again, or you can go ahead and store them. Just make sure your weapon's unequipped by pressing up on the D-pad and you can place them down. I'm not too sure how they regenerate their health. I think if you leave it a day, maybe that's how it works because I've definitely taken the same one out a few times now and he's managed to stay alive a long time. But there will be more skills and stuff that you can unlock to increase the strength of them or get better quality zombies in the future. One of the zombies that you're directed to unlock is the zombie sergeant and this basically becomes a pea shooter zombie. The next set of zombies basically means you've got to upgrade your crafting bench before you can unlock them though. So you need to buy the skill for it and then be able to craft this next one. It's pretty much called the crafter's delight and that's when you can go ahead and start crafting more different types of machines as well as getting more varieties of zombie. And just a little FYI, this is how you can also start getting more zombie weapons like this Zed meat chunk. So the Crafter's Delight is definitely something you want to get as quickly as possible. Again, it does come up as part of the tutorial, but not for a couple of hours maybe into the game unless you've sped right through. And once more, you'll need to learn the skill for it. The Pea Shooter Zombie has its own cost, similar to the placement of the other zombies. It's got like a turret cost or arrow cost, projectile cost, so it's 20 per zombie. So again, meaning that you'd be able to have at least five of them placeable when you go and place them. And you can see you're going to need iron ore, rags, gunpowder to craft. It's another skill, it's called the Zombie Sergeant and it's going to be 800 skill points. Equip them exactly the same way that you've done the rest and then it's simply just a case of plonking them down somewhere so that their range will start hitting at some of the other zombies. They fire exploding sort of balls that can sometimes damage or knock down enemies and hopefully you'll be able to stump on them but they have got limited range and they don't turn around either. So there we go, hopefully that's give you a little showcase of what you can do in terms of getting your first zombies and zombie gear. I'm sure there's a lot more to it, so I'll be back with an advanced zombie farming, zombie crafting guide in the future. So look out for that and check out the rest of my Dead Craft tutorials I've already done. Until next time, Rat Bags, I'll catch you later.